Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Watchark. My name is Simone. I am a 21 year old Italian broke watch enthusiast. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this watch, which is a vagary. Uh, I see your faces. You're probably really unfamiliar with this watch brand. And I know why, because this is an Italian brand. It was born in Italy, as I said, uh, in the last century, and then it was bought out by Citizen in a couple of years ago and this is really interesting i love citizen and i love their designs uh, but they admittedly tend to be a little big uh, mostly about their diver watch they tend to be 42 millimeters or over so that's something that not a lot of people like in this day and age so this is a really really interesting watch i think because this is a 40 millimeters automatic dive style watch admittedly with 100 meters of water resistance and it's yours for around 100 euros and i think this is a great price for a citizen watch basically with another brand name on the dial of course and maybe you have a problem with that i kind of do have a problem with that i love to have watches with uh brand names that really resonate with me and vagary it's yeah, basically unknown. Uh, even here in Italy, it's little, little known. Uh, but yeah, of course, if you want to have a dive watch, which is very cheap, which is an automatic, and which has got the citizen build quality without having the citizen design and uh, really gaudiness sometimes, well, this is a great option. I think this is basically the only option. A 40 millimeters, affordable, well-built, well-specced dive watch. Well, what can you have more? Well, I've got a couple of problems with this watch actually, and you'll find out about that during the review. So let's start by talking about the spec sheet. So this is a great spec watch, I think. We've got 40 millimeters for the diameter. It's not too thick, it's not too long. It's really uh, around the perfect dimensions for me, 20 millimeters lug width. Uh, so there's nothing to complain about this. It's got a mineral crystal, uh, which is not my favorite, but I think we can like agree that at this price point, mineral crystal is basically the industry standard. So we can excuse that. We've got an aluminum bezel insert. This is a unidirectional rotating dive time bezel and it's a good bezel action i think uh you've got 120 clicks i think it's good enough i enjoy it uh, i don't enjoy the insert which is already scratched uh, and i hate that but i think it's passable for the price point and it looks very good in my reference it's the blue one with a black dial and uh, i enjoy it it's all made of 360 nl stainless steel with polished part and brushed parts and i think the overall design it's really really appealing at least for me uh, I see it kind of steampunky, I don't know how to explain it, uh, you'll see in the b-rolls, but it's amazing, I really really enjoyed this design, the way this case shape is made, the polishing, where it's put, where it's polished, where it's brushed, I, I think it's, it's really well made and well thought out, I do really enjoy it. Uh, and the specs are fine. Uh, we've got, as I said, a Miyota 8000 series movement, which is kind of noisy, just like the Timex, my first ever video, go watch it if you haven't. Uh, but it's really less noisy uh, because I think the, the case, it's really thicker and it's really well made, solid build. So it's really, really unnoticeable. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is a great point, I think. Uh, the Miyota is a tested movement and plus, you know, Citizen owns Miyota, so that was expected. And uh, yeah, you can really see the Citizen build quality. Uh, it's really well made, it's, it feels solid. Uh, even though it's only a push-pull crown, I feel completely comfortable going to swim with it, taking a shower with it, everything. I think that this is really a well-made, well-built watch. Considering the price point of 100 euros, it's really amazing. The dial of this watch, I'd say it's interesting. It's got uh, applied indices. It looks like they're applied, let's say that. Uh, I think they're printed, I'm not sure. You can judge by the footage. I think they're a mixture between applied and, uh, and printed. As you can see, it's an attractive dial, I think. And it's got that sort of pattern on it, which is really unnoticeable when you look at in the shadows. 
as I'm doing right now, but when it gets in the light, it's really apparent and it gives this watch a lot of depth, a lot of interest to it. It's something I have never seen in a watch and it's really interesting. It's really something that that's cool, I think. And uh, I enjoy that a brand making an affordable watch is going out of its way not to make an homage and even adding elements that are really 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 different than any other watches I have ever seen so this is really interesting and this dial I think it's a good dial it's well made uh, the hands are attractive really really simple admittedly and they're not the best finished hand I have ever seen however I think they're good they're good enough and it's really really a legible watch uh, we've got 12 6 and 9 numerals and then we have the day date. I am still wondering why watch brands keep on putting day dates on their watches. I don't understand this, this completely breaks the symmetry of this watch and I know it's useful sometimes to have the day date function but most of the time you're looking at the time and you're disturbed but that really big part of the dial which is used by a complication which is really unappealing and unattractive i don't get why they all do this and i get the date i mean the date is somewhat useful but the day when do you forget what day is it i know it's monday today i don't need this watch to tell me it's monday i don't care so why, why, why watch brands do you keep putting day dates on watches that are affordable? Give us the option at least to choose the no date, no day version of the watch. I mean, is this this difficult? I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. And sorry for the rant. I know <laughs> I ranted a bit too much, but it, it really bothers me, uh, you know, that this, this, keep on happening to watches I do really enjoy the design of and they get the day date just like in the other video the last video if you remember the Seiko 5 videos this is uh, that Seiko 5 dial it's so good and then it's got a day date why why in the name of God do you keep on putting day dates on affordable watches I will never ever 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 get it okay I'm sorry, rent is over, let's focus on something else, let's talk about what I do not like and what I do like about this watch. So first positive, as I said, is the build quality. The build quality is citizen level, so we all do know that citizen produces great watches, so this is a great, great, well-built watch and the build quality gets a super pass for me. The dial could be said is another thing that makes me really happy about this watch. Not only because I think it's attractive besides the day date, but let's not talk about that, we already did. Uh, but it's about it being so novel. It's something really, really new. And I love seeing watch brands uh, which are unknown, not copying Rolex, not copying Omega, and making something uh, novel, original, something new. And it's something that really makes me happy. So yeah, the dial gets a super pass for me. What's fine about this watch? Not great, not bad. It's the movement, I think. The Miyota 8000 is not my favorite movement. You do know that, but I do accept it. It's fine really it's fine and the bezel it's fine i think the bezel action it's good the bezel look how it looks it looks great this blue is really deep i love it but it scratches very easily i've been using this watch not for a long time and it's already scratched so yeah this is not something that i do enjoy seeing so if you get one pay attention and don't scratch it because uh it's really really easy easy to be scratched so what is it that i do not like about this watch well first of all it's the day date i do not like that and second of all is this strap this strap it's really really something i do hate uh it's not that it's poorly made uh it's poorly made uh but i do accept that as you know on cheaper watches the buckle it's even signed it's cool uh but it's so long. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of this strap. In fact, wait a second. So this is a strap from my Timex Expedition I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. This is the strap from this Vagary. So if I put them side by side, you can see the Vagary has got like five or six centimeters more of strap. I have no idea why. It's not really that great. I think there's an option to go for the bracelet. Well, when I bought it, it was not available. So I decided to get it on the rubber strap. This overhangs over here and it's really, really bothers me. Uh, 
I think rubber straps are always a good choice for divers because they're tool watches, they're meant to be used in the way that a rubber straps uh, is meant to be, so that's great. But when they're well made, this is not a well made strap and it's not something I enjoy. So yeah, if you want one, either go for a bracelet, but I can't say nothing about the quality because I have never handled it, or buy another strap when you buy the watch as I always basically say, uh, because this is really bothering me and uh, it's something that I do not enjoy. So, what can be our conclusions here? Uh, well, I think we've got a real winner uh, because we've got uh, an original design, uh, we've got a well-built watch, uh, we've got a great value proposition and when you think and we consider that there's citizen behind all of this, uh, you, you know it's really really dependable and it's something you can trust uh, citizen has been making watches for a century uh, so yeah there's, there's nothing wrong with going with this watch and i encourage you to look into vagary because i think they're a really interesting watch brand uh, they've got other designs as well and i think they're they're interesting uh, they all support me out as a thousand series movement and uh yeah i think we've got a real really interesting watch here and a really interesting brand and i hope they they put out more watches just like this because I, I i really i'm quite interested and uh, i've been enjoying this watch so if you want one go buy one it's recommended by me a hundred percent so thank you guys for watching the video uh, it's been a long process uh, so if you do enjoy it please click like subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about the brand what you think about the watch i'm curious to hear uh, your thoughts so thank you guys for watching this has been watch art my name is simone i am a 21 year old italian broke watch enthusiast